welcome to the Sunday Politics here in the West. Coming up this week, the firm is saying they might have to leave because they just can't find the staff. We're not producing enough engineers to keep the production lines ticking over. So is it time we stopped making things all together? Well, this week, we welcome to the studio for the very first time the Conservative MP for Chippenham, that's Michelle Donnellan. Alongside her is Thangham Debonair, who returned to the Commons this week after months of treatment for breast cancer. Welcome back, both of you. Back. Well, our guest this week, Michelle, has warned that it's a ticking time bomb that threatens local businesses and the future of the West's economy. She's talking about the growing shortage of workers needed in engineering and high-tech jobs. Now, firms are warning they may have to leave the area because they just can't find the staff. Uh, Michelle, you've called the skills shortage a, a ticking time bomb. What do you mean by that? I mean that really this is a crisis, actually, locally and nationally. Um, Rob talked then about Wiltshire. It's a key problem in my constituency. I visit businesses every week and they're saying they just can't get the skills. They will leave if they can't recruit them. And at the moment, we're not training people in these sectors. So how in the next five or ten years is this going to get any better? We need to tackle this and we need to tackle it now. You say uh, in one of your statements you'll be standing up for Wiltshire to make sure that companies don't leave. How are you proposing exactly. to do that? So one of my key priorities is to try and change design and technology GCSE so that its status is part of the EBAC, which I feel really will help this. Now, the EBAC is the English Baccalaureate of the five subjects that people can take. But you're talking years. Eh? We are, but that's one of the things that's a small initiative in order to target the stigma and the stereotyping. We need to go into schools, we need to encourage them, we need to develop a better mm. relationship with okay. the Let's, br the let's bring in Thang. I mean, Thang mm. uh, women in particular aren't taking up engineering. It's yes, I find it you know, very um, upsetting to hear that, 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 that parents aren't even encouraging girls even to think about it. But maybe they just don't want to do it. Um, but how do we know? Because because I think it, it doesn't make sense for that mm. much of a difference just to be down to they don't mm. want to do it. I mean, people used to say that about all sorts of jobs when there weren't any women doctors or not very many. You know, people used to say maybe they just don't want to. Similarly with women politicians. And actually what we find out when we change some of the ways of doing things for a particular job, things do change. But you're More a musician. You're I'm a, a musician. marketing executive for mm. wrestlers <laughs> in your civilian lives. Mm. Um, so why should women do things, uh, you know, that, that Because they've got something to offer. I mean, what's happening at the moment is we're missing out on Possibly the, the greatest engineers who might have been, uh, who might come along if only we were encouraging more girls to get into engineering. That's why it matters so much that we're encouraging girls at a young age and boys, but girls and boys to think okay. about different sorts of careers. Let me just talk about uh, immigration again and migration yep. because it mm. comes into the equation. Now, we have to let in anyone from the EU, often mm. people with no skills, but we're turning down people with skills from places yep. like India and Australia and New Zealand because the government wants to cap immigration numbers. Mm. Yeah, but this would not solve this problem. That is a uh, sellotaping over it. We're talking about a long-term problem that needs a long-term fix. And it's not just about getting more girls into these industries. It's also people from a socially deprived background yeah. that could be encouraged into these. And we need to try and address it at an education level, so that in the long term, that we, we change this. Okay. And, but any, I mean, uh, to be honest, I went, when I was at school, there were trips like that trying to encourage people to go into engineering. Mm. Look what happened to me. But <laughs> in a, I think that perhaps the engineering escaped. But I mean, have you got a solution? Well, there are, there are some ideas, actually, uh, that I have. I mean, one is that I think we find ed engaging with the education system is really hard. In some, some schools, are very unwilling to engage with us as employ employer representation. I think more, the more that can be done to encourage the education system to engage with employers to work out what they want, well, that would be helpful. Okay. Uh, the, the Let's bring Thangham in, in here. I mean, do, should schools change? Or actually, yes. I mean, we are pretty good in this country yeah. at the arts. Should we actually celebrate that a bit more? We need to do both. I mean, I think we need to be celebrating all the things that we're good at. And arts, as you've mentioned, you know, that's about 1.5% of the country's workforce with above average levels of productivity. That's a good industry for us to be celebrating. But I'm just picking up what was said there about schools being unwilling sometimes. I think that's sometimes where politicians do come in. I've been speaking to schools who have admitted they've put their hands up and said actually yeah we haven't really been welcoming those sorts of employers mm. in and I've been encouraging primary schools actually to think about getting engineering companies in to teach boys and girls really early on these are interesting jobs mm. because yeah. they're discounting themselves before they've mm. even got as far as their GCSE mm. okay. choices. One thought do you think engineers like doctors should be reserved for people who are really engineers and have reached a certain level rather than the guy who however much we need him or her comes to fix the washing machine? 
No, I think it's everything. And uh, we all know from our daily lives that actually trying to get people to do those daily jobs in the home yeah. is really, really hard to do. Good. So, so that so goes I think back to the point that schools should be publishing destination reporting okay. so that actually we're, we're linking the two together. Okay, mm. thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you from Inspire. Thank you.